I am Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Tech Talk. Today's session is uh, another one of our quadrant material focuses, and in this particular case, we're going to be talking about Erdolite TX. Uh, Erdolite TX is the bearing grade version of the Erdolite family. It is a, a PET, and um, what we're going to talk about today is, is just some of the basic features and benefits of the TX and then look at some of the different applications. Um, first and foremost, Erdolite TX does meet uh, FDA, USDA, NSF, uh, 3A uh, compliance. And so for applications in food processing, you know, whether it be bakeries to poultry processing, meat processing, um, all of these applications are very, very predominant uh, places for Erdolite TX, especially in bearing applications. Um, it has a very low moisture absorbency, um, which is good in uh, the food industry since so many of the applications are wet. Um, it's got inherently high strength compared to a lot of other engineering plastics. So um, uh, you can design for both structural and also for bearing applications and uh, get good deformation resistance, get good impact strength. Um, this material actually has one of the better uh, abrasion resistance uh, properties of any of the engineering plastics. Um, in fact, it's not too far off of the UHMW family. Um, so it's uh, uh, an interesting material for that particular application uh, in the food industry where you've got a lot of abrasive uh, components. Um, the coefficient of friction is, is pretty consistent um, and uniform. So from a design standpoint, uh, again, all the things being equal with PVs and, and speeds and loads and all that, um, you will get a very consistent, a very uniform coefficient of friction. Uh, that translates to, to uh, little to no stick slip. So if you've got applications where it's light duty or you've got uh, small moving forces behind it, the Erdlite TX is a very good uh, candidate material for those types of applications. Um, and then finally, it's, it's very machinable. It's an uh, easy material to work with. Um, it, it's not chippy. And um, with the stock shapes that are available from Quadrant, um, you can uh, feel comfortable machining them in your own facility if you so desire. Or at TriStar, we're more than happy to uh, work with you on machining parts as well. So uh, let's take a look at a couple of uh, the key features um, here in terms of the properties. The, the first one we're going to take a look at is the, the strength, especially as the temperatures go up. Um, you can see here some of the traditional engineering plastics, uh, the Erdolite, the uh, acetyl materials, nylons, UHMW, and PBT. Uh, PBT is another one of the polyesters. It's um, um, a little bit stiffer material in some ways, but uh, uh, it is a polyester as well, and uh, but you can see here uh, how these materials stack up in terms of where their properties uh, maintain. And and with the Erdolite, you can see that the physical properties, as far as uh, in this case dynamic modulus, uh, stays pretty stable all the way across to close to its its uh, maximum operating temperature, which is about 220 degrees. So. From the standpoint of strength at temperature, uh, Erdolite uh, TX is one of the better candidates. Now the next thing is we're going to look at is uh, wear rates. Now when we talk about wear rates in plastics, uh, it's, it's always one of those mystery things, kind of like coefficient of friction. Um, but Quadrant has a very extensive test facility where they can check uh, wear factors of all of their materials at different loads and speeds, different operating conditions, so that they have a very, very good catalog of just exactly where their materials fit in. Um, and what, what I like about Quadrant's testing is that they will uh, be able to generate several different combinations of loads and speeds in order to give you a good view of what um, might happen in a condition that you want to apply your material. So as you can see from this uh, wear rate chart, Erdolite TX compared to the other big three 
um, that are used, especially in the food packaging and processing world, um, the lowest of all wear factors. So <clears throat> if you're looking for uh, bearing grade material, um, and let's say uh, operating temperatures up to 200, 210 degrees to be safe, um, the Erlite TX is definitely uh, the best candidate out of these four materials. The last little chart we'll look at here is uh, stability. Um, this is both in terms of water absorption and coefficient of thermal expansion. And you can see again that uh, the Erdolite is the lowest in both of those categories. Um, the thermal expansion property obviously gives us the ability to design <coughs> tighter tolerances. And in bearing applications, uh, that's something that we're especially concerned about. So, um, and then the moisture absorption becomes uh, a non-issue, really, at 0 0.7 uh, or, or 0.07. So, um, you know, just again points to the fact that the Erdolite TX product is an outstanding material in so many different ways. Now, looking at some of the uh, applications where we're utilizing the uh, Erdolite now, uh, let's take a look at some of the very unique material. Um, first of all uh, is uh, in the waterworks and sewage treatment plants. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the um, abrasion resistance of this material is, is uniquely high. And uh, so as a result, um, we can put this material in some applications that are um, places where you would usually go with a UHNW or something similar to that. And so as a result, we've got uh, a very good, strong material that can work underwater, will not absorb moisture. And in this case, we're looking at a material that supports the Archimedes screws. And um, a very, very good application uh, because of its wear resistance, because of its abrasion resistance. Uh, it can carry pretty high loads. Uh, coefficient of friction, uh, either dry or wet, is very stable. Uh, and then dimensionally, it's a very stable material. So um, again, just shows the uniqueness of the product um, and the diversi diversification of where it can be applied. Here's another application. It's a, a, a pretty simple uh, application, but it's on a hospital bed. In this case, as you can see where the red arrows are pointing, we've got uh, four bearing blocks. Uh, here's a better picture of them. Um, this is a, a, a little split bearing block. And uh, the Erlite TX, again, because of the low friction and no stick slip, um, you've got a uh, material that wears very well. And in this case, you're running against uh, you know, painted enamel. Um, so it's, it just allows for that bed to move very uniformly up and down, no matter what the load might be. Um, there are actually similar applications to this on some of the smaller scissor lifts. Uh, you can use the same concept in the uh, base blocks that are used on the smaller uh, man lifts, uh, especially the, the smaller versions of it. Um, Next application we've got uh, is kind of a unique one. It's a slide pad um, that is actually used during the assembly of bridges. Now, TriStar uh, has been involved in a lot of these types of applications where uh, they will actually assemble a bridge or bridge components off-site. Um, and in some cases, it's just right off-site of where it's going to end up. And we've used uh, various materials to uh, actually slide that entire bridge unit into place. In this particular case, uh, what they were doing was they were actually building segments and the Erdolite was being used um, as part of uh, the assembly process and just to allow certain movement around uh, these segments while they're being built and then it's eventually uh, put together on site. Um, kind of a unique application there. Um, Another place where Erdolite is, is uh, very successful is just uh, standard sleeve bearings. We use a lot of Erdolite TX in, um, in sleeve bearings like, like the one you see here in this, in this picture. This is a film uh, guide roller 
on a uh, packaging machine. Uh, we've also got applications where we're using the TX on uh, um, uh, food uh, processing chain uh, rollers and things like that. Again, because of the uh, stability of the material, the low friction properties, uh, no stick slip, uh, it's got a high PV value compared to, uh, again, other engineering plastics. And you never have to lubricate it. So for a, a, a bearing application, it's really uh, one of the better materials in terms of the engineering grades. Uh, and as long as you can stay within the uh, PV ratings and the temperature ratings and, and all of the standard things that we ask you about when you're designing a, a, a plastic bearing, then... Um, or late TX is going to come out on top a lot of the times. A um, couple of other little applications here. We've got uh, on a, uh, in the pharmaceutical in, uh, industry, there's a uh, uh, cylindrical cock. This is part of a valve application and, uh, and a filter. And then also, uh, interestingly enough, a tray for electric shaver heads. And in both of these cases, we were replacing metal. Aluminum in the case of the shaver head and steel in the case of the uh, the filter unit um, And that's really where this material comes into play if you've got applications where you're using stainless steel uh, steel uh, ceramics uh, places where you've got um, Either you want to save cost you want to get rid of some of the weight and no matter what the case may be Erdolite because of its strength uh, because of its stability and because of all the other factors we've been talking about, it's a, a very, very unique material in terms of both structural and bearing applications. A um, couple of other interesting little applications um, that we have used Erdolite TX here at TriStar. Uh, one of them is, um, believe it or not, a nut cup. And uh, this is a product that we developed with a company that manufactures 80% of the world's pistachios. And uh, these were little parts that were used as part of a um, production machine that uh, literally cracks one pistachio at a time. And uh, what uh, became of this product was, uh, the, or how this product came along, I should say, is that uh, in, in previous years, this customer was losing 15 to 20 percent of their product yield just in the processing of the nuts. Pistachios uh, are basically in a semi-green state, and so they have to be, as they're being processed to go in for roasting, they don't want to break the nut completely off. In fact, if you are a connoisseur of pistachios, you'll Notice that when you buy a bag of pistachio nuts, um, the shell is still intact. There is one seam that's still intact. Um, but in the old process, what they were using was counter-rotating uh, crushing rolls uh, with the idea that it was still green enough that it would just pop it open and uh, then it could go through its brine solution and then into dry roasting. wasn't very efficient. So... Uh, the engineers at, at our customer uh, came to us and asked about materials. What's the best thing that we could use in terms of wear and strength? Uh, and they needed the strength because these little cups were actually also being used as the chain links. Uh, in essence, what we were producing was a very long chain of these little nut cups. And uh, each nut cup had to be designed to handle the size of the pistachio for that particular season. So we had a series of different sizes that we produced uh, in, in literally in the tens of thousands of parts. Um, so long story short, what made this such an interesting application was that uh, um, they process literally millions and millions and millions of pistachios every day. Uh, there were 55 machines running 24 hours a day, seven days a week during the harvest. Um, and we had such great reliability on this product that uh, we were able to run a full season, uh, even into the second season, with very few problems, with very few failures. And uh, it, it ended up being a major cost savings for this particular customer. Um, and that's just one area where we've been involved. TriStar has also been involved with uh, Erlite in uh, another interesting little application. It's a French fry machine. 
And um, this picture of it uh, is, is kind of a, a broad picture, but basically all of the plastic parts in this machine, the press cups, the press dies, uh, the conveyor bearings and the hot oil, um, everything in this machine that is plastic is Erdolite TX. And the reason we went that way was because of the food, the direct food contact. Um, it uh, can soak in the oil without any issues. Uh, you can clean it up easily after it's been uh, used at the end of the day. Um, so many different features that the Earlite TX just uh, literally screamed out that it was the right material for this application. So, uh, but this machine here that you're looking at will uh, make a cup of hot, fresh uh, French fries in 45 seconds. And um, it's, uh, it's a product that is made by Nestle's. And uh, they, they literally take um, dehydrated potato that has been treated with all kinds of extra little goodies, starches and sugars and things like that. Uh, they rehydrate it, go through a series of these little Erdolite press cups, make a patty, slice the patty, drops off as fries into a, a hot oil conveyor and comes out the other end uh, hot and fresh into a cup with or without salt. You can't go wrong. Uh, and quite honestly, they're pretty tasty. So this is just, uh, again, a, a big picture view of where the Erdolite TX uh, is applied. But uh, as with uh, all the Quattro materials, it's high quality. Um, it's available in stock shapes or available as machine parts through TriStar. Um, it's a very unique material in, in its capabilities. It's strong, it's low friction, it's dimensionally stable, it's moisture stable. Um, chemically, it's a, a pretty stable material, except as I mentioned, the sodium hydroxide at temperature. So uh, next time you're looking at uh, a fairly low cost, and I'm, I'm saying low cost compared to uh, the uh, uh, high performance materials, but you get a very high performing material for an engineering plastic price. And so that's a, a, a very nice combination of cost to, to, to uh, feature value. So uh, Erlite TX from Quadrant, think about it uh, next time you have an application. Give us a call here at TriStar and, uh, or visit our website, um, visit our blog site. Uh, we've got so many different ways you can communicate with us. Uh, but give us a call if you have some questions specifically about the Erlite TX, and uh, we'll be happy to talk with you and uh, point you in the right direction. Thanks again for joining us here, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on another Tech Talk.